Hey, Sunday School Kids, Pastor Tim here for another week of Sunday School at Home. This is designed for you and your families to get together and learn a little bit more about God's Word and God's great big love for each and every one of you. We're going to start, like we always do, with a song. This one is called I'll Do My Best. I know most of you have sung this before, but let's do the actions just in case. Repeat after me. Love, I'll love, I'll love you, Lord, forever. And it's again. Love, I'll love, I'll love you, Lord, forever. And then it goes, I'll do my best, I'll do my best, I'll do my best for you. Whoa. And you can make a big O. Whoa. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you. Oh, oh, oh. Little O's. Oh, oh, oh. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you. Pretty simple, right? All right. Let's sing our song together. Love. I love. I love you, Lord, forever. Love. I love. I love you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Whoa. I'll do my best for you. Oh, oh, oh. My best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Surf, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. Surf, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Oh, 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 do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best. Praise you, Lord, forever. Praise, I'll praise, I'll praise you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Oh, 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 I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Let's love one more time. Love, I love, I love you, Lord, forever. Love, I love. I love you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Oh, oh, oh. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Whoa, I'll do my best for you. Cha cha cha. All right, it's always fun to add in a little cha 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 there. Now, today, we are going to be hearing a very special story from a very special book. I think you know what the book is. This is God's Word, the Bible. It's one of the many ways that God talks to us. But before we do, I want you to think about something pretty cool for a moment, okay? In this story, we're going to see that when Jesus had died and then was raised up again from the grave, he went and he showed himself to his friends. But there was one friend who wasn't there. His name was Thomas. And now Thomas was out doing who knows what. But when he came back, he didn't believe that the other disciples had seen Jesus. It was such an outrageous thing. I mean, Jesus had died. How was he supposed to come back? But even though Thomas doubted, Jesus still came to him and showed himself so that Thomas moved from doubting to believing. And Thomas, it says, was amazed. Do you know what it means to be amazed? Think about it for a second. What does it mean to be amazed? Like when you see something completely amazing, right? Something so cool and incredible. What does your face look like when you are amazed? I can show you, mine looks like this, ready? Whoa, amazing. Can you turn and show somebody in your house what your face looks like when you're amazed? Isn't that cool? Okay, now we're going to think a little bit more about what it means to be amazed before we hear our story. So think about some of the things that are amazing to you. Hmm. Are there things around your house that are amazing? 
I thought about this one earlier today and I found two things in my house that I think are just really amazing. And so I want to show them to you, okay? The first is this cool cactus. Look at this. Isn't that neat? Oh man, it's amazing. If you get really close up to it, you can even see that the little baby spikies on here look kind of like fur. You can see the white dots that go all the way up it. And you can see the green, how there's darker green in some places and lighter green in other places. It's so cool. I think that's amazing. Now, I also found this amazing thing. My sister is an artist and she recently painted this. Oh. I thought this was just so amazing, this little picture she painted. You can see it's got a lot of different textures, a lot of different feelings on it. Some places the paint is really thick and you can feel it. And there's a lot of dark and a lot of light. I think this is amazing. I want you to pause the video in a second and go find something in your house that is absolutely amazing. Maybe you'll go outside and you'll see a big tree or a flower that you think is amazing. Maybe if it's nighttime, you'll go out and look at the big sky that's beautiful and full of stars that's amazing. Maybe you'll find a cool toy or something else around your house that is so cool. Go find something amazing. All right. And welcome back. Now we are going to hear our story all about Thomas. See, it says Doubting Thomas. The disciples were hiding in a house that night, the night when Jesus rose from the dead. They were so afraid. Bam! They locked all the doors. But suddenly, Jesus came through the locked doors and stood by them. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed them his hands and his side so that they would know that it was him. The disciples were very happy. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. God has sent me to you. Now it's your turn to go and tell the rest of the world all about me. Jesus breathed on him, on them, in a very special way. He said, With this breath, I will always be in your hearts, even when I'm in heaven. You now have the power to do the things that I've asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple not there that night. When he got back, the others excitedly told him about Jesus' visit. I don't think I believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe when I can see Jesus, when I can touch Jesus' wounds in his hands and his side like you did. A whole week went by. Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said. Thomas, Jesus continued, come here. Give me your hands. Put your finger here on the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. Do not doubt anymore. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped big and wide. My Lord and my God, he exclaimed. Jesus answered him, You believe because I'm here with you and you've seen me and touched me. Think of all those who have not seen me but believe in me anyway. You should believe even when you cannot see it for yourself. That's an important part at the very end. He says, there are people who haven't seen my physical body, but still believe in me, right? That's kind of like us. We don't really see Jesus' physical body in the same way that his disciples would have, but we still believe because we see what Jesus does in the world. And now... We are going to play a little bit. Think about all the things that are real, that exist, but that you can't see. Think first about music. La 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 la. Can you see music? You can see me sing, but you can't actually see music. 
But is music real? Yeah, right? Think about the wind. You can hear the wind sometimes. You can feel the wind. You can even see what it does, but can you really see the wind? No. But is the wind real? Yes. Think about laughter. <laughs> can you see laughter? No. You can see me laugh, but you can't actually see laughter. But is laughter real? It is, right? Love is this way too. You may not be able to see love, but it's real. You can feel it. You know it. So, we're going to play a little game. Remember how we said you can not see the wind, but you might be able to feel it? Well, this game gets us thinking a little bit more about that. I want you to go and find somewhere a piece of tissue paper or something else that kind of floats a little bit in the air when you drop it. Whew. And I want you to challenge yourself just using your breath to try and keep this piece of tissue paper afloat. Ready? Let's try it. My record so far is only three breaths. I'm not very good at it, but you might be better than me. Let me know if you are. Okay, ready? Let's try. <laughs> that was one of my worst. This is great. Ready? <laughs> not quite. Oh, boy. Ooh. All right, I'm getting lightheaded. I bet you can do much better than me. So go and try it and let me know if you were able to get more than three breaths in, because that's all I could do. All right, we're going to end today by singing a couple more songs. This first one is about another thing that we can't see, but we know it's real. It's all about God's grace. You see, grace is God's love for us, that is totally free, that we didn't do anything to earn. It's just God's love for us because God loves us. It's a song called Saved by Grace. And it's got some actions. The actions go like this. Repeat after me. Say yay, 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 yaved. By grace. Let's try that again. Say yay, 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 by grace. All right, very good. And then it goes like this. Through ooh, 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 our faith. Let's try that, ready? Through ooh, 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 our faith. That one's kind of fun, right? And then it goes like this. G R A C E G. R A C E. We will worship you faithfully. We will worship you faithfully. We will live eternally. What a life for you and me. All right. You'll start to get it here.
right. Our last song for the day is Jesus Loves Me. And it goes like this. Pray together. Dear God, even when we can't see you, we know you are with us. Thank you for showing us your love, even when we doubt. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beautiful. So good to be with you today, and I cannot wait to see you again in person soon. Bye, and have a great week.